welcome back to my channel. I hope that you and your loved ones are safe, healthy, and doing well during this time. In today's video, if you haven't already noticed, it's gonna be a Pandora ring video. I'm gonna be sharing my Pandora ring collection for 2021 with you guys. So really excited to share this collection with you. There are many beautiful rings in this collection, but all of them are very special to me. Many of them were gifts from special loved ones or people in my life or represent special moments or ones that I was like trying really hard to find or I got on sale or for some type of promotion. So really excited to share these pieces with you. I am also wearing some of my Pandora rings on my hands right now. So you can see a little bit of sparkle. They're so, so pretty too. And also my nails is complete side note. I'm obsessed with these. They're um, by Impress Manicure, the Couture line. They're a press on nails and don't they look so pretty? I'm obsessed. Anyway, you guys, without further ado, make sure to grab a delicious cup of tea. I'm actually enjoying some matcha, ceremonial matcha tea from David's Tea in their Nordic mug. So delicious. So a huge virtual cheers and let's get started with today's video. All right, so I've gone ahead and I've organized my Pandora ring collection in the order that I think personally makes sense. I'm gonna start off with my Pandora rose collection rings and we're gonna move on to my enamel rings as well as colored cubic zirconia rings. Over on this row, I'm gonna be sharing with you my more statement Pandora rings. They feature some natural stones as well as cubic zirconia. Then over here, I have my more heart themed rings, you know, with like a little heart in the center type style, but done with cubic zirconia. I also have more of a floral ring as well as a star ring here. Then I'm moving into my band rings. So I have ones that are more like fully detailed all the way around the ring and with cubic zirconia. And then on the bottom, I just have the plain sterling silver rings. So to start off with, I'm gonna share with you my Pandora Rose ring collection. So the first ring is called Light as a Feather. This is done in Pandora Rose and it's adorned with beautiful cubic zirconia shining throughout the little feather details. I wear this primarily as a thumb ring and I love it. It's a wonderful statement ring, really beautiful. Up next, we have the Wildflower Meadow Ring. This ring is really special to me because it reminds me of my late guinea pig Harlow. She used to wear this as a tiara and looked so cute. It has a beautiful little leaf detail, a dragonfly, floral accents, and beautiful pink cubic zirconia accents in one of the flowers. And it's such a beautiful statement ring, really comfortable to wear. And the quality is really good. Like I just, I love how it looks. Up next, we have the Pink Murano Glass Leaf Ring. This is so pretty. I got this, like I actually, I got Influence by Nicole, My Pretty Charm Life. It had been on my wish list, but I kept kind of like putting it off. And then when Nicole got one, I'm like, I gotta get one too. It is just so gorgeous. I love the pop of fuchsia against the Pandora Rose. It's so pretty. Next, we have the Sparkling Crown Pandora Rose Ring and has beautiful pink cubic zirconias in it. This one has oxidized a little bit underneath the stones over time, but I still love it and I think it just adds to the detail. It has these cute little hearts on the bottom of it and I love the little round tops upon the crown. I love stacking with this ring. I think it looks beautiful stacked and also worn on its own. Next, we have the Signature Hearts Ring in Pandora Rose. There's lots of cute little heart details on this. I like how it also has a Pandora logo on it. And it's a great ring for stacking, but I also love wearing it on its own too. This ring reminds me of Ella. I got it in Whistler when I went on an adventure with little Ella, my late poodle. And it, it's just really pretty. It's really special. And it just takes me back to those really wonderful memories with her. Speaking of wearing rings with Pandora Rose and Pandora Shine, you do want to be a little bit more careful with them, kind of baby them a little bit more. You definitely want to make sure you're not wearing them when you work out, cleaning, dishes, that type of thing. I do have a cleaning video if you do want to know a little bit more information about Pandora Rose, Pandora Shine, cleaning instructions. So I will leave that linked up above the screen right now. The ring you're seeing on the screen right now is called Open Work Butterfly Ring. This is in Pandora's Shine. It has a little bit of silver on it too with the one butterfly. It is so pretty. I love the open work design and how the detail of the butterflies go all the way around. It's a beautiful piece. Okay, so let's move on to the next row of rings where I have these beautiful enamel and stone rings. So let's zoom in a little bit closer. This is the white enamel ring. It is a retired ring from Pandora. The white details kind of turn more into like a pale pink, but I still think it is so beautiful and I love, love stacking with this ring. I think it looks gorgeous stacked. This was a gift from Fierce Zai. And the ring that I love to stack it with is called the English Garden Rose Ring. 
This is so pretty and it's also one that I think looks pretty on its own, but it's so much fun to stack with. I really love the details of the rose. It looks really full and open and in bloom. And I love how raised up it goes. So you can kind of like really easily stack it with other detailed rings too. This ring reminds me of my mom and her beautiful garden back home where I grew up and I just love it so much. Up next, we have the Patterns of Frost Ring. This is actually one of my first Pandora rings. First one was actually Light of the Feather technically, but I think this was the second ring, I, if I remember correctly, the second Pandora ring I ever got. And I just love it. I love the pop of blue. I actually have the whole collection like the earrings, the pendant, the charms. This whole set is just so beautiful. This is the October Opal Earth Day Blooms Ring from Pandora, and this was a beautiful surprise gift from a charm dreamer, Rita. She has a YouTube channel, so if you're not subscribed to her yet, go give her a follow. I love her videos, I love her personality, and she just so happens to be one of my closest friends, and I just love her so much, you guys. She's amazing, and this ring, I have so much fun. This is my only birthday Blooms ring, I actually kind of wish I had collected more of them, but I'm so happy to have this one. It's very special. Another sweet gift from a Charm Dreamer Rito is the June Droplet Ring. This is with a beautiful moonstone. And if you guys know me, my favorite stone is moonstone. And I just love how this one looks. It's kind of like a grayish blue moonstone. It's so pretty. It also has more of like faceted around it and kind of catches the light, a little bit of sparkle. It's a very dainty ring. And I really do love wearing this ring just on its own. I thought I might stack with it more, but I just find myself always just wearing it just on its own and it's so pretty. The Nature Serenity Ring is one of my most favorite beloved rings from Pandora. And I know it's also a really beloved ring from many Pandora collectors. It features blue topaz, moonstone, cubic zirconia, and sterling silver accents on it. And I love to wear mine as a thumb ring because you can see a little bit more of the detail going around it. And it's just so pretty. I just, oh, if you have this ring, please let me know down below because I just think it's so gorgeous. All right, so now we're at the really fun part, the statement rings, which is so exciting. So let's zoom in close. You guys can take a look at the different statement rings in my Pandora collection. The light as a feather ring was my first Pandora ring and I love it so much. So I have this both in the Pandora rose, which you saw earlier and the sterling silver. And I love the feather details. I actually have the whole set of this, the earrings, the pendant, the charms, like it is just such a beautiful set. It's so magical and I just love how they catch the light with the cubic zirconia details. It's just so, so pretty. I did notice that on the US Pandora website, these have some of these rings available on sale currently. So if you do wanna check it out, I will leave an affiliate link down below in the description bar of this video. Next, we have the Petals of Love Pandora ring. This was a gift from my mother, I believe for a birthday present. So it definitely makes me think of her. And I love the sweet little heart details on this. It's so pretty. I also love to wear this as a thumb ring. It's a beautiful statement piece. And I love how it twinkles and catches the light. It's so pretty. Kind of makes me think of lace too, or like a four leaf clover. So maybe this brings a little bit of luck too. Up next, we have the Sparkling Snowflake, a double ring. This is so gorgeous, you guys. I really love the delicate cubic zirconia sparkle to it. It's very magical and wintry, but I also think it's a great ring that you can wear year round too, not just during like the winter season, winter months. It just catches the light so beautifully. It is still available now, so if you'd like to check it out, I will leave an affiliate link down below too, as well as to any of the rings that I can find that are still available. So just kind of take a peek down there and I'll try to see what I can find for you guys. Speaking of the Pandora Winter 2020 collection, I do have a video that I'm currently editing. I know it's not winter anymore, but I think I am still gonna post it for you guys if you'd like to see some of the pieces I picked out from the Winter 2020 collection. All right, now we're moving down below to these gorgeous rings. There's like hearts, flowers, star. I really love these ones. So let's zoom in a little bit closer so you guys can see. The Heart of Winter ring is so special to me because it represents my love of the winter season. I just find winter to be so magical. I am that person that gets so crazy excited when I see the snow falling outside. I cannot wait to go walk in it, build a snowman or cozy up with a delicious cup of tea and staring out the window as it falls down. I just find it so magical. This ring I find I primarily wear in the winter season, but it's so pretty. I think you definitely could wear it year round too. 
Up next, we have a touch of a Disney magic with this beautiful Disney Mickey silhouette ring. It is so pretty, has cute little cubic zirconia accents and the cutout Mickey silhouette. I love this ring. It makes me so happy and I just smile. I like that it's a little bit understated Disney. So if you want to add a little bit of Disney to your outfit, but you know, you don't want it to be too flashy or anything like that, or you know, you want to wear it to work and like a little touch of Disney magic to work, I think this ring is perfect. Pandora does have an updated style of this ring, which I'll link down below. Now moving along, we have the daisy ring. It's called the Dancing Daisy Ring, and it features cubic zirconia accents and little petals of the daisy. This ring, I love to stack. I also actually love to stack it with the rose ring you saw earlier. I think it looks so pretty, like the two of them together. So beautiful and elegant. It also looks really pretty on its own too, but I think I've always stacked with this ring. I don't know if I've ever worn it just on its own. I think I usually always wanna go and stack it with something. The Star Pave ring from Pandora. This one is retired now, but I love it so much. I love the little shimmering cubic zirconia details on it. It's a little bit flatter up at the top, which I think it just feels kind of cool to, like when you touch it. This is also really fun to stack with. It also, for me, makes me think of Christmas time. I do wear this year round, but I think it just makes me think of the star on top of a Christmas tree, and I just love it. I think it's just really cute, really pretty, really fun to wear. All right, so we have the second last row to show you guys, and these are my band rings done with cubic zirconia details, and the detail goes all the way around the band. Next, we have the starshine ring, which twinkles and definitely makes me think of a beautiful night sky. This ring is so pretty, and I love to stack it with the star pave ring. I think they look really pretty together. It just really twinkles, and the detail goes all the way around the band. Love the little accents of cubic zirconia inside it, and even like the detail behind it looks really pretty too. The Celestial Stars ring is such a dainty ring. I love it so much. I primarily wear this on its own. I don't think I've actually ever stacked with it. I might have once just to try it out, but I prefer it on its own. I think it's so pretty. I love the three little shooting stars in the center with the cubic zirconia accents. And what also is really beautiful about this ring is that it's that beaded detail going all the way around the band. I really love the texture to it. Very, very pretty. and. Such a must. I also have the matching bracelet for this and I love it. Now up next we have Sparkle and Hearts. This was also a gift from Pandora and I love it. This is a great stacking ring but it also looks beautiful worn on its own too. I also love that it has little cutout hearts on the sides of it. Like such a cute little detail. I love when Pandora does little hidden heart details on their charms and jewelry pieces and this really shimmers. It really catches the light. It's a very elegant ring. Speaking of catching the light and shiny rings, I do want to film an updated Pandora cleaning video. So I did mention earlier I have the Pandora rose cleaning video. I also do have a much older Pandora cleaning video, but since there's like a new cleaning kit out and a couple new types of jewelry, metals, things like that, I thought it might be a good idea to do an updated video. So if you want to see that, please let me know down below. Also, what you're seeing on here, it is called the Signature Sparkling Bar Stacking Ring. This ring is so cool. I also really want to get the Pandora Rose version. I really love the detail to this. There's a little touch of cubic zirconia. It says Pandora on the side of the band too, which is I really think is cool. And now we're on the last row, which is just my solid sterling silver rings, kind of plain, but not really because there's still beautiful detail to them, but they're just more polished silver and they're really, really beautiful. And there's three rings I have here to show you. This is the silver star trail ring. It is so cute. And again, I love stacking this with my other star theme rings. I think it looks really pretty stacked, but again, it also looks beautiful on its own too. I really love the smooth polished silver of this and the stars are kind of cute. Like they're not like perfectly pointy, if you know what I mean. They're kind of rounded and I just think it adds to the charm of the ring. It's so, so cute. Now moving along, we have a very special friendship ring. This is my friendship ring that I got with Nicole, my pretty charm life, when I went to visit her last year. We went and we like hung out in New Mexico together and we had so much fun. And we both thought we need to get a special ring or some type of jewelry item to represent our friendship. She's one of my best friends ever, you guys. She's amazing. And we just had to get the Polish Heart Open Ring just to represent our friendship. It's such a beautiful ring. The last ring I have to share with you in my collection is called the Springbird Ring. This was a limited edition ring back a couple spring collections ago. 
I love it. I just think it's the sweetest thing I ever saw. I kind of regret not getting more pieces from the set. I love how the ring band is like a tree and you have this sweet little bird, you know, on the branch on it and he just looks like he's singing. It's so much detail. It's so sweet. I love stacking with this, but it also looks adorable worn on its own too. Anyway, you guys, that is it for today's Pandora collection video. I hope you enjoyed seeing the different rings I have in my Pandora collection. I'd love to know if you guys also like to collect Pandora rings. Please let me know down below. As mentioned earlier in the video, I will leave links down below in the description bar of this video on where you can find some of the Pandora rings in my collections. I'll definitely link all the ones that are currently available that you can still purchase direct from Pandora or at your local Pandora store. As for the retired ones, I know like some of the retired ones are so gorgeous, but they can be harder to find, especially with rings because you're looking for a specific size. I definitely recommend checking out Poshmark, eBay, sometimes Rulala, as well as a couple other sites that are good sometimes for finding the retired Pandora items. You definitely obviously want to be careful of any fakes and things. My own shopping experience, whenever I've kind of looked online, I've always kind of checked the hallmarks and everything and the placement and everything looks like a well match, but you definitely still wanna be careful because you never know, so be careful with that. But yeah, that is it for today's video. I wish you guys a wonderful, magical rest of your day. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now, you guys.